Welcome back to Living Large Camping. This week, we share a 180 watt solar panel installation on the top of our Lance 815 truck camper. We also organized the inside and hit the road full time heading into the upper peninsula of Michigan. Hope you enjoy. Okay, well, the phone decided not to record and I was just standing over here, um, handed Connor the solar panel up to the roof and we're gonna get that mounted. if this was the panel. <laughs> All right, so here it is, 180 watt panel. And on this side, it's sitting in between the aluminum angle. And on this side, we're gonna bolt it straight through the angle there with it mounted on the tracks. All right, so now we're going through and drilling stainless steel bolts all the way down the side and all the way down this side. All right, so I'm gonna finish getting this mounted. Uh, truth be told, I don't love being up here this high on the camper. It's a little wobbly on the truck, but at least the roof feels secure. And I think this panel is really gonna help out once we get it all finished up. Yeah, it's a skinny ledge. Mm-hmm, it's a skinny ledge. And here we can see the panel is mounted. We have the angle iron on this side. And here's how it fits on this side as well. Super simple install on this one solar panel just because it has the Yakima tracks already up here. When we have more time, we're gonna put a couple more panels on the roof just to fully maximize the space up here. I think we're gonna do two more 180 watt panels, maybe 210 watt panels, but either way, this will get us going for now and hopefully it works good. We also just have the wires running down here on the ladder. And underneath the camper, just into the side access panel over here and into the goal zero. You see the cables coming in here and they connect right here into the high power port splitter for the goal zero. All right, so now that the solar panel is mounted on the roof of the Lance 815 truck camper, it's time to come in here. We've got a couple of different storage and organization bins that we bought to see if they work. Hopefully they do because we need a couple more places to store t-shirts and shorts and stuff like that. So let's see what we got there. We also wanted to show you guys these great Amazon storage bins that we found. Um, they have two little compartments. I did shorts and shirts. And then we also found these smaller ones that we put in the cabinets over our beds that have been perfect for kind of anything that we want to keep organized a little bit better. Same thing is over on Connor's side here. And see, they sit pretty flush and they've been perfect. Now let's fill up the fridge and hit the road. Now that we have our solar panel and have organized the inside of the camper, we are ready to hit the road. We are so excited to see what the upper peninsula of Michigan looks like and to be back living in our truck camper full time. Our first night will be in the southern part of the UP, but to get there, we have to cross over the Mackinac Bridge, which divides two of the Great Lakes, Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. It is such a cool bridge and an awesome drive, and we hope you all enjoy and cannot wait to share more videos of the UP in the coming weeks. Hello, how are you? Doing great. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Oh, you got a little treat.
What you think? I think it's about to me. Dinner? You want duck and potato? Dinner time? Dinner? <gasps> Come here. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Connor and Amelia. Dinner time. <laughs> Tonight we're going to be making rice bowls with chicken and some peppers, zucchini, and salsa. Let's get to it. Alright guys, well we're going to finish cleaning up all the dishes here after dinner and then we're going to go watch the sun drop over the lake. I hope. We can tie her up. So that's going to do it for us tonight. We will pick you back up in the morning with coffee. We're going to come and watch a TV show in bed. <laughs> but we're going to stay here in this spot one more night because it's right on the water. 
it's really quiet and there's not many people here and we have a video to edit tomorrow so yeah. we will catch y'all in the morning good night guys good night <laughs> After coffee, it's time to come in here and start planning the rest of our route for the Upper Peninsula. We would love to get up over here, but we only have about a week, so I'm not sure if we're going to. So we may try to go to Marquette and then we'll start working our way back. But Amelia's is editing a video. Yeah, yeah, just editing a video about what we've done to our landscaper so far, um, just the struts on the side and everything like that. So stay tuned for that. We are loving having these windows. It's so nice to be able to sit in here. It's pretty windy right now, so we're just kind of hanging out inside and taking a break from that. And since we're gonna be set up here for the next night, I'm gonna go ahead and set out our 100 watt folding solar panel and run that into the camper so it'll charge our goal zero. All right, and we have the panel charging. Not very well right now, but it'll pick up once the sun gets higher. And it is coming into the eight millimeter input here, but we are going to need to add multiple Anderson plugs so that way we can charge with the portable panel and the panel on the roof. Rick, do you wanna go for a walk? Editing snack. Not sure. As you can tell, it's super windy here at this spot. It's honestly picked up even more. But now with our new camper, we don't even notice. And we love it. You want a cocktail for happy hour? Checking. That all sounds to dinner in the camper where we can't hear the wind. <laughs> so a new goal of ours is to learn how to play backgammon. it. My dad gave this to me for Christmas. He is a very good player. Shout out dad. And um, yeah, backgammon 101 for dummies. Let's go. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> We roll it again. Oh. And we have a winner. Woo! Game one, we're still learning, but it's a good game to have. It's up small and some good competition. That's gonna do it for us tonight, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> All right, we are packing up the camper and headed a little bit farther north towards Marquette up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And one thing we have to do whenever we pack up is change the fridge from propane we're just gonna put it on 12 volt to run off the goal zero, so.
you can see the red line and the white means that turned off and now run on battery power All right, so we are all packed up, ready to hit the road, and we are headed a little bit north towards Marquette in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We're gonna get some lunch there. We have to find a place to upload our newest video that's going live real time today. Mm -hmm. And then we have a campground that we think is just like 30 minutes north of there. So we're gonna be on the road for about two hours and the truck handles this camper great. It's pretty yes. windy still <laughs> from yesterday. So we'll definitely be a little slower, but it's gonna be a good day either way. That's all right. We're here to explore the UP and hope you guys stay along.